Okay, so hit us with this many worlds theory. Okay, so think about this electron. You're gonna you you say that it could be either spin up or spin down. It's a combination of both. That's its wave function. You measure it, you only ever see spin up or spin down. So Copenhagen says that's because the wave function suddenly changed, snapped into place when you observed it. Don't ask me what it means to observe something. That's not what Copenhagen lets you ask. Okay. Many World says what you're missing is two things. Number one. You're a quantum system. Mm. You're obeying the rules of quantum mechanics. You're made of atoms and electrons and so forth. You have a wave function too. Okay, so you're secretly treating yourself as a classical thing when you make that measurement, but you really should be treating yourself quantum mechanic. That's one thing. And the other thing is uh, something that Einstein invented, namely called entanglement. When quantum mechanics says there's a wave function for a system, it doesn't say there's a separate wave function for every particle. Right? It says that there's only one wave function for the whole universe. So the way I like to say it is, imagine two particles come in and bounce off of each other. Either one has a wave function, and it's you know unpredictable exactly what angle it's going to go off at. So both of them, both of the particles that go off, you don't know where they're going. But because momentum is conserved, if they came in at equal velocities, they'll go out at equal velocities in opposite directions. If you measure one, then you know where the other one is going. Right. That's entanglement. The observed state of one system can be related to the observed state of another system. 